What's going on guys, welcome back to another how to video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use nail polish on your skill models. And you might be wondering to yourself, like, wait, what? Nail polish? And yeah, it's true, you can actually use nail polish to, to paint your model car body. So, um, in this example, I'm going to show you how to thin it a little bit. Um, I'm not going to show you exactly because how I did it, but I should be able to explain it to you guys enough. And then we're going to go ahead and go on to my paint booth and show you how it sprays. So, as you see the Corvette body in front of you, this is nail polish. And this is the this is the color right here. It's called Moody Moody Red. <laughs> so, so that's pretty cool. And this is the whole bottle and, you know, I used it all. So, nail polish, you can use any kind of brand nail polish. You can use a really cheap brand. That's what this is. This is Walmart brand or any, I don't know where you get it from. I think I have Walmart for 98 cents. So, so it's under a dollar. Um, you can use more expensive nail polish, whatever you want to use. I don't think it matters which brand you use. Um, but I recommend using a cheap brand first. If you've never done this, then if you want to use more expensive brand, then go ahead. So basically the only way you get thinness is you do have to get a glass bottle or any kind of bottle you put the um, paint in. So like in this case, I use an old Elkclad paint bottle and that works just fine as glass. So you want to do is get your nail polish and get a full one and then dump the whole nail polish bottle in your bottle. The whole thing. Uh, now I'm, Normally there's a ball in there. There should be a ball, like a paintball in there. So let that drop in there also. That'll help it. And then once you get all the paint out, fill the whole nail polish bottle, the whole thing, back up with lacquer thinner. Doesn't matter what doesn't matter what brand lacquer thinner. It can be like a cheap brand, Walmart brand, any kind of brand lacquer thinner. Doesn't matter what kind of lacquer thinner. It has to be a lacquer thinner. Fill the whole thing up with with lacquer thinner to the tippy top where the nail polish was. Then get a bottle of shake so you can kind of clean it out a little bit. And then pour the whole bottle of back of fitter into the bottle where the nail polish is. Dump the whole thing in there. So it's a 50-50 mix. One part nail polish and one part uh, lack of fitter. And that mostly does thin it. It, it does a job. If it needs to be thinned out a little bit more, then go ahead and put one more lack of fitter. Because nail polish is it's pretty thick stuff. So it does take a lot of it does take 50-50 mix. So but other than that, that's really how much, that's really all to it to thin it. It doesn't take much. So let's go ahead and go onto my paint booth and I'll show you how it sprays, how it sprays onto the body and how it sprays from the airbrush and yeah, all that fun stuff. So I'll go ahead and see you guys over there. All right, so you're all ready to start spraying the cover. So uh, I showed you how to thin it and it's pretty thin already. So you're ready to start spraying it. But before you start spraying it, of course, spray down the whole body with air through your airbrush. Make sure there's no more dust or nothing on the body. Now with nail polish, it's optional you can do this or not. You can prime the body, um, it's optional, or you can just spray the paint on top of just bare plastic. Uh, the nail polish is sticks no matter what. But in this case, I primed it because I want to make sure it really stuck and I wanted the color to be a little bit darker than the, the bottle. So I use gray primer in this case. So just keep in mind, if you want a, a lighter color nail polish, make sure you use white primer or just don't prime it off. The body's already white. But that's covered. Um, so you're ready to start spraying. So as always, hard reach areas first, easy to forget spots, and just act like it's normal paint, which it basically is at this point. You're just spraying normal, you know, model paint, like so, like you know, in, a, in this case, splash paints. So, so just act like you're spraying splash paints. It's just like normal paint now, it's spraying out beautifully. Now, if the paint comes out pretty runny, like it's dripping, that means it's too thin. Um, if it paint, if the airbrush is kind of like spitting out the paint, then the paint is too thick. So, just keep that in mind. Before you start spraying the body, go ahead and do a test spoon. A test spoon always, always helps and makes sure the paint is coming out pretty nicely. Um, there is just enough paint, barely enough paint to cover a whole model with three coats but there is enough to do a test spoon in two coats. So go ahead and do your test spoon with one coat at least, just so it's so you, make, so you know the airbrush is spitting out nicely. But this is the first coat, so keep my coats very lightly. Don't go heavy at all, because I'm pretty sure this paint will wrinkle up too if you do it too heavy.
All right, so as you can see, the first coat went down perfect. Looks fantastic. And as you can see, the color covers pretty well. So, let it dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, nail polish, it does dry pretty fast. So, 5 to 10 minutes is more enough to it tack off and then you're ready for your second coat. Again, hard to make sure first, easy to forget spots. And the second coat can be a little bit more heavier, but not too heavy because you don't want it to wrinkle up. But the second coat is basically the same as the first coat. All right, so that'll do it for this video. As you can see, the body looks fantastic, and the paint looks fantastic on the body. The color turned out pretty darn good. I'm really happy with the result. So let it dry for about two to one to two hours. It should be dry enough for correct coat, which will be next video. So stay tuned. But thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new. But until my next video, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.